Hi Lana, uh, welcome once again to Lana's Coach. <clears throat> so we are going to look at some of the factors uh, that influences the course marketability uh, here in Kenya. Now, uh, throughout this particular channel, we normally discuss about the best courses, the most marketable courses. I think now it's uh, the best time uh, for us to maybe understand why we normally talk about uh, maybe some courses as marketable and not uh, the other. So there are some factors that you need to consider, either as a student or maybe as a parent or guardian who is looking for maybe uh, your child's course or in a particular university or college, right? So this particular factors cuts across <clears throat> a different aspects as you're going to see right so if you want to do a marketable course then you need to put these seven factors uh, into consideration uh, without wasting uh, much time let's look at the first uh, factor and that is government policies and initiatives. Uh, we are all aware that uh, government policies plays a major role. And of course, when they want to enact some kind of uh, maybe uh, initiatives, uh, these could always influence uh, the marketability of a given course. Uh, like for example, as you can see, the first point is the government support, right? Now these are the courses that are aligned with the government policies such as the STEM programs that are normally offered. Uh, let's talk about science, technology, engineering and mathematics, right? They receive support which includes maybe government funding, scholarships, right? And these always attract their marketability. So it increases uh, maybe the reason as to why we can uh, have some courses as marketable compared to the other. The other one is public sector demands, right? So courses that uh, cater to public sector demands such as public administration, uh, policy analysis and public health uh, remain valuable due to opportunities in government or uh, government institutions. Like right now, <clears throat> in the health set, uh, in health sector, you realize that the government is promoting those community health programs, right? So chances are that people are now looking for uh, those particular <clears throat> health-related community uh, courses right so that one also will influence their make, uh, marketability uh, also when you have industry trends and technological advancements right so you're aware that when we have some emerging technologies or it's always good to put yourself within the trending uh, courses or uh, or industries right so identification of sectors experiencing rapid growth such as technology, we have renew renewable energy, healthcare, even environment, right? Agriculture, yeah, can steer students towards course aligned with these uh, uh, emerging <coughs> fields. What we are saying is that when you want to look at a course as marketable, you have to look at it from the emerging industries, right? Like what is happening uh, around you? That is what you have to look at first. You talk about technology, you have artificial intelligence, we have blo blo uh, a blockchain, right, and uh, so on. So we have to position ourselves within this particular emerging industries. And of course, technological advancements, uh, these courses, uh, of course, I've already mentioned them. So they are often uh, sought due to the relevant, uh, in their relevance in modern industries. So this is the second thing that you need to look at when you want to perceive or look at a, a particular course as marketable. Uh, we also have the third one, entrepreneurial, uh, entrepreneurial and innovation driven courses. After all, everyone wants to maybe start their own business, uh, equip yourself with uh, relevant skills so that you can start your own uh, business. So that also informs why a particular course uh, should be marketable. So entrepreneurial skills, these courses uh, fosters entrepreneurial uh, thinking, innovation, and creativi creativity within students to create their own opportunities, right? So making this particular uh, set of skills very, very marketable. What we are saying is that most people nowadays don't want to study to be employed. They need to start their own work. Uh, they want to be self-employed and everything. Uh, of course, startup ecosystems, the courses that integrate learning within 
a thriving startup ecosystem or provide support for business ventures enhances students enhance students entrepreneurial skills and marketability so i hope you are we have already factored this in as to why we normally say that a particular course is uh, marketable now the fourth uh, factor is globalization and international market demands very very important so here we need to align ourselves with the international uh, global market right so these courses that equip students to thrive in the global marketplace such as international business global supply chain management cross-cultural communication uh, hold significant marketability a good example is doing a course that once maybe you fly out of the country you can always be uh, still relevant uh, that's why you find always people trying to do these english or languages that are going to help them be relevant within the global market so those are the reason as to why they become marketable and of course the recognition aspect right like for example degrees and certifications that are recognized internationally are more or much valuable right so that's why most students thrive and have so far had a lot of questions within the health industry courses right uh, actually someone is uh, most students want to understand which particular courses that are relevant in medical field that should they leave the country they can still uh, use them in other countries so that is what we are talking about international uh, recognition now the fifth factor is economic and market trends right so here we talk about economic resilience so these courses that remain relevant despite economic uh, fluctuations like healthcare i believe i mentioned this agriculture is also another one and essential services provide more stability in job markets so i think we are looking at the various factors so as you pen down the courses or you think through the course that you want to pursue please take into consideration these factors that you're mentioning and of course uh, market demand analysis so courses that aligned with market demands and projected growth uh, areas ensure a higher probability of employment opportunities upon upon graduation so i think uh, if you have been following us learners coach uh, that is good uh, if you have already subscribed thanks uh, if you are a new to our channel kindly take a second or two uh, to join our community right <clears throat> all right thanks uh for being part of this particular community because we always endeavor to give you uh the very best when it comes to uh the course that is marketable and of course the institutions that you can pursue these particular uh courses so let's look at the sixth factor uh, that is adaptability and continuous learning right now we need to understand that learning is a continuous process right and we need you to position yourself in a place where you will continue continue to be relevant within a large span of time we don't want you to pursue a course and then after three years <laughs> it's not going to be uh, relevant so what you're saying is this courses emphasizing adaptability critical thinking and continuous learning prepare students for evolving evolving job roles and industries ensuring long-term what marketability and then of course upskilling opportunities is also very relevant right so courses that encourages and facilitate on going learning and upskilling such as online certifications or additional qualification enhances our career prospects we are saying that wherever you pursue a particular cause ensure that there's some kind of opportunity of adaptability right adaptability simply means with the time you can always uh, do some upskilling right of course you can uh, enroll for other certifications so that you be relevant and marketable as time uh, goes by so lastly <clears throat> we talk about industry specific skills and specializations right 
so we identify these in terms of niche specializations right and of course practical training and internships so under niche specialization we say courses offering specialized skills in niche areas like digital marketing environmental such as sustainability renewable energy they cater for industry specific needs and this is why graduates become more marketable and within this particular uh, channel i've always said stated times above number that you should align yourself with some kind of niche right so if you find that you or you feel that you are passionate about some things right you can always pursue that course in that particular uh, area like there are those people who just like uh, doing digital marketing for example there are those people who are passionate in treating people like giving uh, care services to patients I mean, you can do some kind of health-related uh, courses. Uh, practical training and internship courses offering practical experience through internships or industry partnerships provide students with uh, real-world skills, enhancing their employability. Now, we go back to TVET now. So here is where practical training takes an upper hand. And that's why most people prefer, of course, doing TVET courses than maybe proceeding to the universities, right? So people feel that when they do these practical courses, there are high chances that they'll get uh, maybe employed first or they can do their own things, right? So those are some of the things that influence marketability of the courses that you have so far uh, mentioned. So I know this is uh, these are some of the factors to ponder about and i hope you're going to make some informed in, uh, decision as you prepare as you prepare to pursue maybe a tertiary course within the various uh, institutions should you find this particular uh, video informative always give it a like and of course do not forget to subscribe to our, our channel all right thanks